Hey everybody, it's Eric, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to share something um, that I've been kind of working on and thinking about. Um, and this week was a great example of a sort of a strategy or hedging uh, sort of trigger to potentially you know, mitigate some of the losses that we're seeing this week in the market. So the market's obviously pulling back. I'm making this video on Friday, kind of midday. So the, we got a little bit of a bounce today, but you know we're getting a little bit of a pullback in the context of an uptrend, which is totally normal. Uh, but the idea is, you know, when we get to some of these key levels, and I have some spot gamma levels on here, but a lot of times the key levels are just the big, uh, big round number levels, such as 6600 is a big level, 6650, and then we have the 6700 level. So. On SPX, a lot of times the quarter strikes, and I'm, you know, uh, 66, 25, 50, 75, uh, and the big round numbers, those can often be kind of major levels for support or resistance. Um, I like to look at the spot gamma levels. That's kind of a separate thing. Um, and this week, the, the call wall actually held really hard as resistance. However, um, a week or two ago, the call wall um, and some of these major levels, as the market rose, the option levels rose, which is kind of telling you that even though we're at, you know, let's call it the top of the range in terms of option levels, even though we're at the top of the range, you don't necessarily want to short it, right? Now, in an alpha crunching world, we have a lot of trades that really take advantage and leverage these type of uptrends. But I want to go back to the weekly forecast, and I want to go back to the week of September 15th. So the forecast comes out before the week begins. If we take a look at the chart for September, uh, Monday, September 15th, we were hitting new highs just like we were this week. We were hitting new highs and everyone thought, oh my God, I don't think this thing can go higher. The call wall at the time, I think was around 6650. So we were kind of, you know, again, sort of that upper part of the range. And if you look at the forecast for that week, uh, this newer sort of metric or pre-trade metric indicator, if you want to call it that, uh, below that we've added is the average uh, strength deviation. And what I'm looking for is sort of, is it positive or is it negative? So the week going into September 15th, it was still positive. And what that means is that the ending value of the forecast, which is uh, basically an intraday seasonality tool, uh, was higher than the three-week average. So that's indicating that price is still kind of moving up and the momentum is still above recent momentum. So the ASD is basically measuring the forecast against itself and its three week average. In this case, it was still positive. So with a positive ASD, you know, I don't know that I'm ready to put on any bearish positions. I'm gonna keep riding that trend upward. And so we basically did that. This week, however, um, the market ended up rolling over and the call wall actually stood firm. So is there something that would tell us, hey, maybe we should add some hedges here. Maybe we can sell some out of the money call spreads. We also had triple witching and a bunch of other crazy things going on last week. But um, but if you're looking for something that's like sort of concrete and say, hey, yeah, hey, here's a heads up. If we look at the forecast for this week, which means we were able to see this uh, before Monday, the 22nd. And again, I'm ignoring the actual chart here and just looking at this ASD metric we saw that the ASD actually went negative. So what that means is the average ending value here, and we can see now it's at 20 something points, is lower than the three week average. So if I put on the previous three weeks, we can see that they're all a little bit higher. And they're, I mean, it's not much lower, but the blue one if, is lower than if you were average the other previous week. So that's sort of a heads up that the momentum is slowing. And I think what a good trade would have been, and obviously this is hindsight, you know, and we're just kind of uh, talking about the market here. This probably obviously would have been a great time to sell some out of the money call spreads. Um, I, you know, even if you're not selling spreads, maybe you just sell uh, covered calls on your stocks or your ETFs. Maybe you're in SPY, maybe you're in NVIDIA or whatever. Um, but the, you know, stocks tend to go the way of the market. And this was a pretty decent heads up this week that the market momentum was slowing and maybe we to look to hedge or get some bearish exposure because you're probably already long and um, and that would have turned out to be pretty good. So that's something I'm going to be working on. Let me know what you think in the comments. This isn't some back tested thing. Obviously, there's some discretionary uh, elements here, uh, but I think it's something that I'm going to be sort of looking to add 
And if before you ask, when I'm talking about call credit spreads, I'm probably looking at 14 to maybe 30 days out, something a little bit farther out of the money. For example, in this case, if we were at 6,700, you know, maybe we sell the 6,800. Uh, we can see what kind of credit we we would get for that. But if you were selling on this rally, you probably got a decent credit at a decent distance. So again, that's what I'm looking at. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.